<clears throat> well, where y'all been? Welcome, Coffee Time friends. I've been looking for you for 20 minutes. I do not know what's been going on. It must be the wind or something. But I sat down here to go live. I had my onion all ready to chop up. And y'all couldn't get in. The door was locked or something. And um, we've reset everything in the house. Alexa's been tore all the pieces. And uh, <laughs> I think we're good now. If it goes off, I'll try to switch over to pre-record and do it that way. But for real, we've been going about 20 minutes trying to get y'all in the door. So welcome, Coffee Time friends. We're super excited to see you. I have already chopped this onion up during our time of waiting. And we've got the potatoes on, which I was going to do that anyway before we got you in. But here is the onion for the soup. And Mama has broke out. Uh, the muffin tins here. Say hello, Mama. Don't be hello, so... Hello, hello. Don't be so... Uh, I'm friendly, Mama. You're Southern. I'm Get over sure. here and say hello to the company. Hello, company. Hello, hello. Mama's got it on her mind. Now, let me tell you what Mama tried to do. She tried to get out of making the cornbread because she said uh, we didn't have no uh, cream style corn. And she, she said, I'm going to try it without cream style corn. I said, Mama, I'm going to make some cream style corn. She said, you can't make cream style corn. I said, I'm going to. Yeah. So I've done made one can. I'm going to make another can because you know what? I wouldn't care a bit to have two cans of cream style corn in your mixture, Mama. But if I'm doing this to show you all, when you have a recipe or you have something you're out, don't let that stop you. You do your, you do it. This is IGA Golden Sweet Corn Whole Kernel. Comes from the IGA. Um, and I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to... I'll pour the broth off. We have to drain the juice off from it. That's for sure. And I'm going to make some cream style corn right here in the chopper. You can do this with a knife if you don't have a chopper. But you can certainly do it with any kind of chopper you got. And I'm going to make some cream style corn for this dish. And I've done made some earlier when she tried to get out of it. And I wouldn't let her. I said, Mama, I'll make because She said, you can't make cream. I said, I can. I can. I'm going. So I am going to show you all what I did. So you want to. I'll let you touch it, Mama. I know it ain't going to cut you. You might need it to drain your corn now. Uh, you want to go drain? Sure. You want to use the whole kernel corn. And this makes delicious looking. Mama, if you got that first batch I made? Yeah, just a I'll show y'all what I did. Um, I'll show y'all what it looks like, and then I'll show you what I did. It says, hey, you two. Hey, Gail, how are you? We've been home two or three times today. I started out early outside on the porch when the snow was deep. I got something on my lip. Hmm. So into the chopper here, the only thing I got, I put a whole can of whole kernel corn. Drained. Right here's what you're gonna have when I get through. Cream style corn. Um, into this, I'm going to add both pepper and salt. I'm fixing this right. I'm fixing this like we're going to eat it with cream style corn. I'll just throw in some uh, some muffins. I've got that turned so you can't get no salt out of it. Then I'm going to put my cream. And I know now I have about how much. And Mama, you want to put a little sugar in this since you're going to... Yeah, what did I put? We put about a uh, half a tablespoon. Fourth of a cup. Yeah, it? yeah. You could you just get some out of your bucket, out of your canister. But now, folks, there's the cream style corn we're making, and I tasted of it earlier, and it's delicious, ain't it, Mama? Yeah. Even Mama said, "Let me tell you what Mama said." She said, "Well, we won't buy no more cream style corn then." That part of. Yeah. So it. she's putting about. Less than a fourth. Fourth of a cup sugar. Pro wouldn't have to put that much. If you don't like sugar, 
Don't lose it. Uh, Mama Sue, we won't buy no more cream style corn then. If you can make it taste that good. She said that tastes almost like mine when I make it fresh out of the garden. Didn't you, Mom? Yeah. And then I'm just gonna. You could use this in your food processor. You could chop this up. You could even put it in a bowl and use a chopper. But this right here is the easiest way. That's it, folks. We have Kareem style corn right here. Mom, you want it smaller? Is that small enough? Oh, I think that'll be all right. You like the. There it is. Cream style corn at your service. I don't know how you can make it any better or buy it any better. Mama, if you'll hand me a spoon right there in front of me, I will get this out and show them. And what I put in that was evaporated milk, or we call it cream. Now, you all that like cream style corn, especially the homegrown variety, take a bite of that. I hope take a bite of that. It's delicious. So if you need cream style corn, a can of hope kernel, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a quarter cup of sugar, and about two tablespoons of cream, or you can see it, you'll see it in your, when you're doing it. You know what cream style corn looks like, what you want yours to look like. And there it is. Now I don't even like cream style corn from the can. <clears throat> I think it tastes different. Mama makes some here from uh, Silver Queen or um, Peaches and Cream Corn. I love Mama's. This is second to Mama's. So this is second to what we're used to. Your chili's done, Sandy. It is a chilly day. I guarantee you that. Y'all stop. Did I freeze you? There's no movement. Well, folks, it still says I'm live even though y'all ain't moving. I hope that ain't a lie. Okay. I it need a it. little bit of onion chopped up in my cornbread. Alright, Mama. You want, me, you want just some of this? Yeah, just a y'all little bit. Y'all Brenda Hurst says yuck. Brenda, you don't like corn, or you don't like this? Usually the comments are going. Can I, there you are, can I? Stop, you sure can. I think I just spilled this corn. Okay, y'all, move it again, that's good. Sorry about that, had a little bit of corn. It went on the counter. It didn't go on the board. Thank goodness. Um, I need some coffee. It shouldn't taste corn on camera. Mm. But that's just one of those things that I'm always telling y'all. Don't let one thing defeat you. You can go online. I didn't. But you can go online and find hacks for substitutions or I need... Like the other night when I needed, um, when I said I didn't know if I'd find any hip, heavy whipping cream, and uh, two of y'all sent me things off the internet that was how you can make your own whipping cream. That's like buttermilk. If you have a recipe that requires buttermilk, and I have a friend who will not buy buttermilk because they don't drink it, they don't like it, but every once in a while, she does like to cook with it. So she makes hers every time. And she just used vinegar, and add it to your regular whole milk, your regular milk that you buy. <laughs> and you stir it up and let it set, and you'll have the same equivalent of buttermilk. And that's what she does because she says, we don't, I don't use it. I throw it away. She says, so I don't use it. But when I need it, 
I just need a little small amount. I'm not gonna buy a half a gallon for that. So that's what she does. And I thought, well, that's smart. So I've done it before in a pinch when I was out of buttermilk, but we use a lot of buttermilk. We make biscuits and cornbread with it. I drink it, mama drinks it. Uh, so it gets going here. We don't. We, we use it almost medicinally because like if you have an upset stomach um, or indigestion or anything like that, it, it will help with that. So will mustard sometimes. Although I do have another friend who says mustard makes her heart burn worse. It certainly don't help it. But the vinegar in it should make it better. Now I'm chopping some fine onions here in case you want to want to do it. I already chopped some for the soup. Mama says she needs some for her Mexican cornbread. So I'm gonna chop up some fine for her. How much you need, Mama? A tablespoon, two tablespoons? Just block that little small onion. Oh, Mama, you're gonna take all my onion. No, I don't want it all. I just want a little. This was like a medium to start with. It was the largest one I it wasn't huge. Folks, the snow is hanging on. It's off the pavement a little bit. But anywhere the sun has not hit today, it's ice. And we're not going to be up to 30 degrees till like afternoon tomorrow. It's 20. It's went down. It was 20. It's down to 22 degrees. 22 degrees over here, and it was at 24. So I think we've had our high today, which that's what they were calling for, was a high of 24. And now it's coming down. I'm afraid tomorrow in the morning it's going to be in the teens. And then that'll be everything that did melt. It's going to be frozen. So you folks be careful in the morning. It's going to be a little iffy. If you got to get on the roads or your, even, your, even your sidewalks or your front porch. I'm telling you, a cover didn't help nothing. Our porch is covered. But I have gone out and cleaned the porch off three times today. Uh, all the cushions are covered. All the pillows are covered. You know, we was ready for spring. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't put your pillows in the cushions now until spring gets here. But we've been sitting on the porch enjoying them. And <clears throat> now today, they all got snowed a little bit. I was just thinking as I was beating the snow off from them for the second time today. Last Saturday, I sat out here and enjoyed them and thought about how pretty the flowers was going to be. And was admiring that maple tree in the front yard, how beautiful the blooms was on it. And then here today, I'm going to hear beating the snow off the cushions. I've, That's Tennessee for you. I've swept the porch twice. Snow right back. You know, when I went out there to get snow for the snow cream, it covered me up. It was just blowing everywhere. It comes off the house. Mama, I'm going to ask you here. Is this enough for you? Oh, yeah. I didn't need right. a little bit. All right, there you are. There's just some fine chop. You want to put this in that pot of meat over there? That's okay. And that way we'll have it. Mama's doing her show here without us. Mama, don't you want us to see you make cornbread? Well, you was talking and I was... You didn't want to interrupt. Mama, let them see the cornbread. Because somebody might want to make them some. This cornbread is awesome, folks. I love it. Uh, she made it the other night. What do we have with it? I don't even remember the other thing. I just remembered the star of the show. Oh, well, I have to do these carrots. Is that what you like this here for, my chore board? Yes, you're going to put carrots in your Well, yes, ma'am. We are. Let's get on with it. Now, I'm going to do these carrots here, and I'm going to turn you over to Mama. If I can hold her in one space. I have one of them cameras. I've seen them. I think it's a stand that follows you around the room. I need one of those for Mama. My mom will get you a follow camera. How can you work and stand in one spot? I don't know, but you you can't even stir this up and stand in one spot. You you moving around. I have to move. I'm a mover. She's moved six places while we've been talking. She's there. She's there. I can't keep up with her. Mama, come over here to your bow, and and let them see you. They're tired of watching me do carrots here. Okay. I'm doing baby carrots, folks. I know, I like the big ones in certain things, but we got a whole pack of these babies that need to be used. I normally would use big carrots in my soup, but the babies are fine. They're, they're just been there a minute, and I just rather get them used. 
before they start to turn off white. Look, I mean, you know, I won't use them then. Okay, what I've got in, in my bowl right now is two eggs. And a little bit of onion that he chopped up there down for me. I'm gonna get that mixed up. And then this is just a little bit of peppers because I can't have a lot of handle a lot of peppers. Now that's mixed green peppers, Tom. That's out of my garden. It's red and green and yellow. And Bell all that. peppers. So you don't have to, or you can use canned, or you can go to the produce and get you just a fresh one. Chop it up, run it to your chopper, and um, have it ready for this. It's just a little bit, not even an eighth of a cup. It was just a small amount, but you can see it in there. Barely. Mama, we're going to have to get your glass bowls back up. They can't see through this white one you love so good. Mama loves this old bowl. And I don't even know where it came from or what brand it is. She's used that. For biscuits, cornbread. Since I was a kid. I've got bigger ones. And stuff. It would be nice if you could find you a Tupperware person who had some Tupperware bowls. Oh, I've got Tupperware bowls. Okay, and then I've got to get me a little bit of oil. That's what I think. Tupperware does have some great bowls for that. And we've got them. But Mama don't use them. It's kind of like the dishwasher. She don't want to use it either. Now see, she gone. She's gone. I told you I had to get the oil. You don't listen. She gone. She gone. <laughs> Y'all said, don't make mama run. Don't make mama get the I can't even keep mama still. All right, here she back. I'm back over here and I'm going to mix this up for Anyway, back to this cornbread. It is absolutely delicious, folks. I wouldn't care one bit, not one bit, if Mama come, if I come home one night, Mama said, all I got for supper is Mexican cornbread in there. I'd say, done. I'm happy. That's all I need is some Mexican cornbread. It is so good. There you go, Mama. That's that homemade cream style corn. You thought she was going to get out of it. She it said, I don't have no cream style corn. I guess we won't have no Mexican cornbread. I said, Mama, I'll make some. These candies, what is it they say? A, a pocket, pocket on, on the shirt. shirt. I'm sorry for that clunkety clunk clunk, people. This is just real life this carrot is. chopping. I'm trying to do more carrots that won't be as loud. Add some extra cornmeal with my chicken. Well, oh, go ahead, Mom. If you have to. If you have to, Mama, make some extra. Won't hurt my feelings at all. And I get my little Let me move. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move y'all. I hate to move y'all. I really do. Don't move them. I'm going to be through here. I'm going to move y'all right here. Oh, whoa, no. That's too close. Mama, that can't see you or hear you. I'm going to. I'm going to take this on your shirt. There's you mama. The corn and the peppers and the onions and the eggs are in here. I'm going to have to hook up an overhead camera. Then I'm going to put this little box of mix. You'll be eating these muffins for a month. Aw. Uh, no, I won't, mama. They won't last that long. Those are good, folks. She's made Mexican cornbread in the past, but I never was as taken with it as I have been this batch because this batch, it literally tastes like you're eating a little casserole because it's just so good and so moist. Tasted delicious. I apologize again for this clunk, clunk, clunk. I think you got enough carrots. I did them all. <laughs> Honey. Well, they were all at the same age, and you said we didn't get rid of these. I didn't mean you. We're going to have carrot soup. He can't be told nothing, Lord. You say it, Mama. Mama. Now, Mama, you see it. Here. 
Just use these. I said, let's use the big ones. You said, just use these little ones. Because we're just going to use them and dip at the Super Bowl. And you said, just use these and get rid of them. Use these and get rid of them because they're going to get too old. Now, I figured every carrot in that bag was the same age. So why wouldn't I fix them all if they're getting old? Now, folks, they're not rotted or nothing. They are good. But, you know, they've been open since Super Bowl. And it's time it's done. It's time. And I don't think it's too many carrots. I really don't. Look here, folks. I'm going to show you. Does that too many carrots for soup? That's a lot of soup. Carrot soup. Are you wanting to take Mm-hmm. All right. While mom is gone, we'll talk about it. All right. So see here is her cornmeal and her peppers. She, you will probably have more peppers than yours. Mama just didn't put much peppers at all. But that's the way it looks. We're going to have to go back to using a glass bowl. But look how moist it's going to be. Look at those peppers in there. Delicious. By the way, the meat that I showed, did I show y'all the meat earlier? No. The meat that I was telling you we had on the bowl, it boiled down. It did real well. It tastes like a steak in there because it had that Dale seasoning. You can put any kind of seasoning you want in it. And see, she went over there to take a, a chore board full of carrots and dump them in a pot. She is now down in the cabinet to spin the lazy season. You never know where Mama's going to end up. She's just... She everywhere. I got y'all crooked. It's a dog's home leaf. She's back. Well, Let's see what a, she's up to. Half a cup of buttermilk in here. Half a cup of butter. That may be what makes them so good. You reckon, Mom? Yeah, I do. And that's just a half a cup? Mm -hmm. That's just a one cup measure. Alright, so in here, tell us what all is in there, Mama. Two eggs, onion. Supposed to be a small onion and uh, what this peppers, peppers and uh, corn, a whole can of cream stuff, yeah, and a box of jiffy cornbread mix, jiffy cornbread mix, fourth a cup of oil, half a cup of buttermilk, and I believe was that all you've been making, Mama. I ain't kept up with you right. today. Thank you. Is that everything you got in there? You're going to put some cheese in there. I am going to put some cheese in there. But it's not hardly. I'm going to put just a little bit of regular cornmeal in it. About a fourth of a cup here. But that's just you doing that, tighten it up? Yeah, because we used that whole can of cream stuff. Cream stuff corn that you know. I might watch this video and write it down. Let's see what y'all are saying. Y'all talk. The comments have stopped. Uh-oh. It worries me when I don't see the comments rolling. How long does buttermilk last after you open it? Well, this says March the 14th. And I'm still using And we're going to use it through... Whatever. Probably we'll use it till it's about gone. If it's... This is my opinion. This is not uh, nobody's authority except just me telling y'all. We'll use it past that best buy date there. Um, as long as it don't puff up or, you know, you can tell when milk goes bad. But buttermilk stays okay for a while for us. It's not the start. <laughs> <laughs> this says best if used by March the 14th. It does not say turns to salmonella March 14th. So, it's just probably a better freshness if you use it by March 14th. But if you're still using it on the 18th and it don't have any signs of going bad and it'll puff and it'll smell, you'll know, but... It'll separate sometimes. It'll oh. separate. It'll be, ugh. You'll know buttermilk. I think I just put cheese on it. But it still smells delicious, and it's going to be up. Today's the 12th, yeah, or two more days, but we'll use it through the 20th or something. But it lasts here a long time, like that. But now, like I said, we drink buttermilk, and we use it in our bacon, and we use it 
in dressings and we use it in a lot of things. We marinate chicken in it. Um, so we use a lot of buttermilk. Do y'all use a lot of buttermilk? I put cheese in my Mexican cornbread. Also, Jessica, it's the best. Isn't it? I put a cup and about a cup and a half or a little. I didn't measure it. I just poured it in there. But there they can see. Get it over. I swear they can see. Yes, ma'am. And then I'm going to. So there's mamas. There's mamas. Um, Mexican cornbread. Muffins. Going to be muffins, and we're going to have them. Um. Right here in a little while. Um. She's getting the Easy Bake fired up, and every time I say Easy Bake, y'all, some of y'all. Hello? Oh, it went to emergency call only. I don't know, folks. I think our internet may be on the icky today. Yum, chili is on my agenda in Snow Ohio. Sharon, I love chili. We debated about chili this morning. Wasn't much of a debate because I'd already said. Boy, Mama, that has some good homemade vegetable soup. But I was wanting homemade vegetable soup. I tell you what I got my mind on homemade vegetable soup. It was when we was planting the garden last Saturday when it was 70 degrees. I said, oh, those those onions will be good. And we can make some green onion dressing. And I said, and the tomatoes will be in. And the, all the stuff. And we can have some good soup. Mama said, yeah. So I kind of been thinking about soup. So this morning I said... I want some good vegetable soup. Mama said, yeah, that or chili. And I said, whichever one you want, Mama. She said, I think soup might be better. She said, we just had chili about a week ago or two weeks ago. Mama, we made that chili, that three-stage chili, when we made hot dog chili, bowl chili. We ate it. And then we ate it. It's a taco, taco salad. I said, oh, well, we've had the chili. Let's go to the soup route. And that's what we decided to go. And then, too, then I just decided what how good um, Mexican cornbread would be with some good homemade soup. I'm opening up a can of corn, another can of corn, I'm gonna put in that pop soup. We got some frozen corn, but not quite enough, and we got some frozen peas we're gonna put in there too. And I'm gonna take y'all over there and show you the soup in progress. Now, Mama, you gonna use an ice cream scoop on this or are you just gonna spoon it? I'm gonna try spooning it. We're gonna spoon can y'all see us when that foolishness is going on? It, it goes to 911. Mama, are you trying to call for help? No, but I might pour it over with. This is one third cup measure. I did not know. I wasn't even touching it then, and it went to some 911 or something. I don't know. I just work here. This video may not even be going out. Y'all may be. My mother-in-law used to pour buttermilk in ice trays and freeze it. It's the best thing for an upset stomach. Yes, Lou, that's what I say too. I have, I did not know you could pour it in ice trays and freeze it. That's wonderful to know. Mama, you can pour this in ice trays. We've got ice trays and we could freeze it. Thank you, Lou, that's a good hint. Um, buttermilk frozen. I can't see how that could be bad. Then you can always take it out and let it file or put it in your milk or put it in. Press this thing open it. I gotta pour it in this. You want me to take the whole top off? No, just that would be fine. Just so I can pour it in there. Here's another little crafty thing you can do if you so inclined. If you open up a can of tomato soup this size, Anything with tomato soup, not tomato juice, is galvanized. So you can tear this paper off. It don't look terrible, especially to keep under your sink. It's just a silver can. You can take the whole top of this off, and you can put this under your sink to put wet brushes or something like that, and that galvanized will keep it from rusting. So these are excellent to use where you're going to be using water. Uh, here's your juice on. They ain't much corn food. to show. A little bit of corn left where we've been adding from this frozen bag. And we're going to put a little bit of peas in there. We don't like a lot of peas in it. But I did want to add a little bit more corn. Now, I'm not being stingy with these. I'm filling these up because last time Mama thought she overfilled them. And she filled them just right because they rose up and they were delicious. Uh, 
And this is delicious. Like I said before, we need this in our lives more often. Probably not health-wise, because I don't know if it's that bad for you. But just for goodness, having having this, is, this is one of my favorite new things. I was thinking about these the other day. I thought, I'm going to tell some mamas makes cornbread. My friend Kim makes delicious Mexican cornbread. Oh, yeah. Very good. Hers is excellent. She does five good recipes. She does. I'm going to take that right there and take that off. Because mm. I'll get in trouble. This one's going to be shy. Oh, yeah, Mom. You're right. Let me let me fill him up. I don't want him feeling bad with the rest of his friends being all puffed up and him being just left. folks. Look at there. Nothing but 12 little goodies. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mama, you got this other pan ready to rock and roll? No, I've not sprayed it yet. Well, I will take it over here. And... Here, I'll give you this. You can spray it. Like you want me to spray it over here? I'll take and spray it for you. I'll spray it. And I'll sit there. All right, folks. We're going to get this cornbread in that easy bake. Every time I say easy bake, I think that's when 911 can on the well go. When I say easy bake, somebody asks me, if this is a KitchenAid. It's an air fryer convection oven countertop toaster oven. You can find them on our, on our Amazon site, just so you know where they are. Uh... We've got two of them. We've got one without the convection in the air fryer. It's out in the Cannon kitchen. And this one, Mama wanted an air fryer because she had heard good things about them. So we really didn't have the counter space to donate to another appliance. So I looked that one up and I said, Mama, your KitchenAid's getting a little age on it, which we've had it about four years, haven't we? I really don't know. Anyway, I said we could have buy this new KitchenAid that's upgraded with the air fryer. And we've loved it. We've used the air fryer. We don't use it as much as a lot of people, but um, we, don't we, we may start using it a little bit more. Um, who knows? But uh, you can fix all kinds of stuff in the air fryer. Everything I've tried in the air fryer in it has worked and, and done very well. But as far as using it every day, we don't. I know people who use the air fryer with everything they cook. Uh, chicken, fish, fries, everything. We um, we do fix chicken tenders in it. We do fix um, what else? French fries every time in it. What else have you fixed in it, Mama? Oh, I don't know. Chicken and French fries mostly. I think. Chicken and French fries. You can do vegetables in it. I did roasted vegetables in it one day, and I thought that turned out really good. Delicious. Mama, is it okay to leave one empty? Yeah, if you don't have it, you don't have it. It'll just burn if I put a little bit in it. I'm going to fill the rest of these up. So, Mama, you really could have made a little bit more. Well, that's just the way it worked out. All right, folks. There's five more. One in for goodness. Look at that. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Time to clean up. Time to clean up. All right, folks, this is going to be a wonderful soup in Mexican cornbread. Now, how long do these have to bake, Mama? Um, I don't know it makes right now. Do y'all want to stay around to see the finished product? Or have y'all seen enough to get you on your way? You want to show them what we've got in the soup so far? Yeah. You got to put your potatoes in, but you need to wait a minute on them. Okay. All right, yeah, we're moving again. I don't know what's going on. Somebody may have to inform me. Uh, my comments stop, and then I have to slide you all off, and then slide you back over for comments to show again. And you quit rolling. Well, usually you just keep on rolling. 
Mexican cornbread recipe, please. Kim, uh, Mama just made it up. And mouths, but in the in our old. Cookbook. It's in our church cookbook. I'll read you the not church. The, not the one we brought. Not the current sale. one. The old old church cookbook. There's two, but they didn't. Use we had a church cookbook. Now this one is not for sale. We can't get it reprinted. I've done check. Um, I might be able to send this whole book in. I don't know. It could be a thing. But this was the one we've done. Oh, several years back. But uh, this was... In fact, this is my friend Kim's uh, recipe. Mexican corn. But I'm Mama sorry. didn't go by it. Exactly. Uh, right here's one of the reasons. Because it's got some jalapenos in this one. And you, I would love some jalapenos in it. Mama, don't do hot peppers. She don't hardly do hot peppers. It's one and a half cups of self rising cornmeal. One and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. One cup of buttermilk. Two thirds cup of cooking oil. Two eggs. One small onion chopped. Three pickled jalapenos. One small can of cream style corn. You mix all your ingredients gently. Bake in 9 to 13 baking dish or iron skillet. Bake at 350. Preheat oven for, for 45 to 55 minutes depending on the dish you use. So there it is. There it is at the top. You can screenshot that and read it backwards or however you have to do. But that is it. That's my friend Kim Swafford. She does the best cornbread I ever had. And Mama's changed what her little changes here. It's delicious. I mean, they're all delicious. Um, but that's what we're using. But Mama didn't change that much. She used the Jiffy Pack. She put the cheese. She put the cream style corn. She put the onions. The only thing she really didn't do is do the jalapenos. This and she added a little bit of green peppers. Huh? This is something we forgot to fix. Oh, Mama's calling me out right here. Going embarrassing in front of friends. Sorry. Well, Mama, technically we didn't forget. Yeah, we did. Um, this is elbow macaroni. This is just in the pasta maker. This will be done in six minutes to perfection. And uh, you just fill it. That's all we're going to need for the soup. Now we're just going to put water in it up to the middle here. And uh, done. Put a little salt in it. And it'll be done in six minutes. So even if we did forget it, it's okay. And we're going to throw it in that kettle of soup. We've got a few minutes on the bread. And then we'll show you the soup. I tell you what I like to get, and I don't even know much about them. I like to get an induction hot plate. Is that what they're called? And that way we can sit over here and we can cook right here on the counter instead of having to walk over and take you all over and all that jarring around. Okay, we're moving again. It's a pity this video going off. Oh, you're not having a clear picture, Ellen? Is anybody not having a clear picture? Is the trouble everywhere, or is it just on my end? I was thinking... With the snow. Sleep. With the snow and the wind, it could be. But now, when I'm on, I'm on completely. It's not going in and out, and it's clear. It did go out a couple of times, but I think now it, it appears to be. And I have a clear video. Do you all have that? Let's see here. Thank you, Mary Beth. Um, hey, from Texas, y'all. Hey, Pauline, how are you? Hey, Margaret. How are you doing? Hey, Connie. Hey, Sandy. John, I would love to buy your mama's cookbook. How much and how do I order one? Sandy, phrase, it's not mama's. It's the church cookbook. I'll show you the cover here. And it is a combination of different people at our church that wrote it. And all the proceeds go directly to the church. It's $17. And that includes shipping. And we're going to order some more. Uh, in fact, I may have waited too late. We ordered a double order. And uh, we appreciate you all so much through Christmas. You send it to John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Jellicoe, Tennessee, 37762. I'll flip that. If that's right for you, take a screenshot. If it's not... Take a screenshot that way. John Davis, P.O. Box 918-37762, Jellicoe, Tennessee. Um, 
and it's seventeen dollars. All the money goes directly to the church. And uh, we've got six or eight recipes in there. We have thought about writing a cookbook, but we would never want to compete with the church on a cookbook. But uh, right now, it's helping the church out tremendously, and we don't want to ever do anything with that. Uh, let's see if I can get you all moving again. Can you... Uh, can you use frozen strawberries to make the jam? Uh, Kathy, we never have. Mama, can you use frozen strawberries to make the jam? I've never tried. I'm sorry if the video is of poor quality. Kathy says no problem where she's at. Thank you. Uh, it's a little blocky, frozen a few times. Yeah, ours has too. But I'm telling you what, we have got March winds with winter snow, and it's a blizzard up there. Now the sun's shining now, but when it does blow, it's crazy. So I'm thinking maybe a tower or maybe even just a line. But we've got internet, and Alexa's been working a little bit. Uh, I don't see any blurry, and I don't, I'm not having any problems right now. I apologize. We'll try to make it short. If y'all want to just end this video, and we will... Um, because I don't see any hearts or anything. I don't know. Maybe it's not working right. Usually there's... Uh, things floating over here on the right hand side. Thank you for sending starting out. And I tell you something else that's different. Thank you, Carrie, for the stars. Thank you, Cheryl, for the stars. Maybe this is always here. I don't know. Anyhow, something just popped up about stars. Um, I think maybe we may be in some kind of video. Because it's not acting exactly right. I'm not. Usually, there's star uh, hearts floating, and uh, I see nothing. I see nothing. I don't know. Sometimes Facebook amazes me, and sometimes it makes me crazy a little bit. But do y'all want to just go ahead and end it here, and, and or do you want to wait and, and suffer through the sketchy video till we get to the muffins and the soup? It's about time. The, the muffins will be out in about five more minutes. I can't see any responses. See, your all's video, your all's comments aren't doing right either. Um, usually they're just streaming so fast I can't even read them. Now I'm having to swipe them off and turn them back on almost. Uh, everything is fine here. It is okay. Okay, Edna. Uh, showing a whole lot of hearts. Okay, well. I'm glad y'all can see them. Thank you for sending them. I do not end. Uh, no, don't end it. Okay, Pamela, we'll hang on for y'all who can see it. And then if you are having trouble with it, maybe you can catch it on replay and it won't be as bad. I see lots of hearts being sent. Well, thank you, Jamie. I don't see anything. I'm barely able to see y'all going up. I hope this is not something they've upgraded to that I won't be able to see y'all because I liked it better when I could. That's what my favorite thing of the lives is the interaction. Nola says she can't wait. Okay, we're going to have that over here in just a second. No, don't end. Okay, I won't end. I will hang on to the last person. Stay live. Okay, Kelly, thank you. Thank you, June. Thank you all. That makes me feel better. I was afraid we were annoying you all with this crazy video. I know I, I follow people too, and sometimes their videos don't work right. They can't help it. I know for a fact because we can't. Um, okay, good. I see nothing. I see nothing. But your video, your comments are moving now, and that's great. Mama's got the soup just a going, and the macaronis will be out in just another one minute and twenty six seconds. I don't know if we're gonna have room for it. Now let me tell you two little things about our soup. We used to be one pot wonder, and we like that because less dishes. Somebody said, cook your potatoes separate because that's what makes your soup thicker the following day. So we started cooking the potatoes separate, and since we use macaroni and it's starchy too, we cook it separate, we rinse it, we drain it, then we put it in our soup. We rinse the potatoes after we cook them and put them in our soup. That way our soup is just as good the second day as it is the first day. And Mama and I both love a lot of good juice in our soup. And we are using homemade. 
homegrown, home canned uh, whole tomatoes because it's soup and you can taste those. Now in Chile, a lot of times, most of the time, I'll just use canned tomatoes because by the time I get through with it, you don't taste the tomatoes. It's just all a part of the party. So I use uh, canned tomatoes, canned juice from the store in chilies and taco soups and things that I'm putting a heavy spice load in. This is basically just got a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I put a little bit of natural seasoning in that meat. So uh, it's not really loaded down with spices. It's just we want to taste the vegetables and we want to taste those delicious homegrown tomatoes. Mom and I was talking earlier in the season and uh, we were going to cut back on the garden. Mama said, I'm not doing any yard garden. And a yard garden to us is, she's got her raised beds and she's got a huge raised bed. And then she's got the small one out back here. Now last year, her yield on that small bed was tremendous. She had peppers, she had Roma tomatoes, she had uh, onions and lettuce. Mama, what am I missing? You had uh, herbs, she had all kinds of, and she really, really raked in on that little small bed. So if you're living somewhere you can't have a huge garden. I had Roma tomatoes and regular tomatoes. Go to the big store, AKA the Walmart, and buy you some of those big old flower pots and plant you some. They need, us, they need room to grow down. So if you, you know, peppers and stuff like that, just so you don't make them root bound, you can grow a big garden in a, in a container. Now y'all be growing it in the ground is preferable uh, because they, they don't get root bound. But now we've decided we're gonna go ahead and have a full garden because it's hard to get stuff in the stores. Now I'm not, you know, sounding any alarm or anything. I don't think we're, but we never know what we can get. We are gonna plant a few potatoes, nothing that would sustain us for a year or nothing, but some red potatoes and some Irish potatoes. And we're gonna have some uh, green beans this year. We've done about our peanut seeds. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit, uh, the neighbor, our neighbor is so kind and gracious. Terry, if you're listening, thank you so much for taking care of my mama. Um, we have great neighbors. And uh, um, both of them are just wonderful. And um, Larry is wonderful. And Larry, we have all great neighbors. The days, Larry, um, and it, everybody's just wonderful. Uh, we love our neighbors. We love our neighborhood. Uh, our little road is just full of good people. And uh, so we are going to plant some in the yard. And he's going to come down and plow for us. Um, and till the dirt and get it ready. But uh, we're going to have a little bit bigger garden at my mama. Hopefully. We're going to have some cucumbers and some beans that we can put up and can. Some tomatoes. Probably a few more extra tomatoes than what we had last year so we can can all. We plant cucumbers and squash. And cucumbers and crooked neck, straight neck squash. Um, we'll probably plant more straight neck if we can get a hold of it. Because that's the favorite part of the yellow squash is that neck. Now, crooked neck, many crooked neck, the squash is kind of like that. And this neck part that you want on your squash is smaller. The straight neck, you know, the squash will grow and it'll just be a straight neck. But that skinnier part of the neck will be longer. And that's the best part is that tender little neck. So if you're debating on squashes, yellow squashes, buy straight neck squash and you'll have more of that little tender area in there. The bigger the squash, the tougher the squash. So we pick ours almost daily because you want those little pale yellow squash. The darker they are, the thicker they are and the tougher they are. So we pick ours as when they look like, and we use crooked neck and straight neck, when they look like little um, Birds, when they're yellow and they got the little neck, that's when we like to pick them right then. Quick and easy. Don't let them get big. Uh, you may think, well, I'll let them get big and I'll have more squash. No, uh, it gets harder and harder and then you'll get a hollow center in there. So we want it fresh and tender, little bitty squashes. Um, we are having the same meal on a snowy day. Isn't it wonderful? I, I don't care one bit. I don't care one bit to eat vegetable soup. For the next three days. Oh, you're going to be eating for that. Lunch and supper. Thank you, Mama. 
Donna just put on here 37762. Somebody might have missed the zip code. That is the zip code, 37762. Uh, okra. Yeah, okra. We love okra. We love okra and squash together in green tomatoes. Do you ever Have you ever done that, Mary? Have you ever took okra, yala crooked neck squash, and green tomatoes, chop them up, roll them in cornmeal, and fry them? I just made myself hungry for it. It would be delicious right now. Uh, we will grow iceberg lettuce. Jenny, how are you going to... Where are you from? I don't... Mama, have we ever grown iceberg head lettuce? I have tried it, but it don't make the heads good here, I mean. Okay, because I know I never had, had that. We will grow some cabbage, though. Uh, lost signal just tossed me. I am so sorry, Lainey. Um, we grow leaf lettuce. It grows really well. Uh, goulash J. I love goulash. We made goulash two weeks ago. I think so. I love goulash. It is delicious. Jay, if you're looking for a recipe, go back and put in coffee in the in your Facebook search, put goulash coffee time and it should pull up maybe one or two videos. Do you have grape vines? Uh Glenda, I have grape Glenda. I have grape vines at my house. It has the corn Concord grapes on them. Uh, Dad used to have a big old roll of them down here. And, you know, to be honest with you, I don't know if something happened to them or if he just took a they notion. Died out. Mama said they died out. Uh, I don't know if he just took a notion to get rid of them. He had, he's done that before. And he might have just dug them up. I remember one time we had a strawberry patch. Uh, it was about 50 or 60 feet long, and it was probably 30 feet wide. And it was the whole length of the garden, and he decided, he's tired of filling that mess, and he just bowed it up. We had strawberries there for several years after that, but they never was like that. Look at here, as they say. Look at here at these little muffins. They are delicious. Mama, I will, um... Cut one open and show them if you want me to, or do they need to rest a minute? I'll have to rest. Mama says they have to rest. Uh, well, Mama, that's gotta be hot. It just came out of the oven. Well, I was gonna just pop it out. Give me a case knife and I'll go Get around. That one Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's going to do good. Here we go. Can y'all see that? It smells wonderful. I can smell that cheese. And I can also smell that goodness in it. Now, you don't see... <laughs> you don't see many green peppers in it because Mama didn't put many in it. Uh, now, when Kim makes it, it's got the green jalapenos. It's a little hotter, but I love it. That's the inside of it. You can see the cheesy goodness. You can see the corn. It looks better in person probably than you can read it on camera because there's just no color to it, but it tastes wonderful. It did the other night anyway. I'm sure it does today too. Um, these are my new favorites, I guess, for the moment. I just love them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to make sure that they're coming out good. Let's see how bad they taste. I'm going to steal that. You're going to... Ooh. See how bad they taste, Mom. That's not a good uh, outlook. You're supposed to tell these how delicious they are. I'm going to go around each one of these just so they can start coming loose. Sometimes you'll get a little stick with your cheese because it's on the outside too, remember? Um... And it'll it'll make cause it to stick just a little, but if you spray it good, usually it don't. This ain't sticking bad at all. I'm just gonna go around them right quick, just to make sure we don't have that problem. Mm. 
And there we go. Those should come right out. Did you taste it, Mama? Yeah, it was good. Let me I taste was it. chicken with that homemade cream, cream style corn. It's good. Mm. It's hot, but it's delicious. And that homemade cream, homemade cream style corn didn't hurt a thing, Mama. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it improved it. <laughs> I don't like cream style corn. And I was surprised that I like Mexican cornbread because there's a cream style corn in it. I love cream style corn when Mama makes it with sugar and butter and fries it in the skillet. Uh, fresh out of the garden. It's fresh good. out of the garden. This that I made today for y'all, it's very similar to that. Yeah. Even Mama said so. Didn't you, Mama? Mm -hmm. That's good, folks. Try it. Mm. Oh, there's a pepper. <laughs> I would probably like it with a jalapeno. I know I like it because I've had Kim's with jalapeno. Good, I just can't eat it. Hers is delicious. They don't like me. Mama just has trouble with her stomach. And then at night it'll keep her up. So we try to avoid that. It's not too late, it's just five o'clock. So we're gonna eat early tonight. He called it a case knife. Well, the people in the South called a butter knife a case knife. Sylvia, we sure do. Case knife, southern, southerners sometimes call it. I do it too. I love it. It's just like a um, a kittle. We call them kittles, like a kittle of soup. If I said we're gonna make a kittle of soup in the south, nobody would even look. That's oh, that would be good. A kittle of soup would be good today. We call all pots. Kittles, um, whether it's a cast iron kittle or whether it's a big stainless steel kittle, we know that there's kittles for tea and coffee, but we call those tea kittles. You know, that's the difference, a kittle or a tea kittle. But uh, to us, a kittle, I very seldom call them a pot. Um, I was trying to think, do I ever call it a pot? Mom, do we call it a pot? We can uh, we say, say pot. pots and pans. But pots and pans. We'll say that. But, it, uh, but this is a case knife, in case you're ever wondering. And in the South, it can be many things. You can use that as flathead screwdriver. <laughs> Go get me a case knife. i got to unscrew this. Um, but that's a case knife, also known as a butter knife. That's the proper term. But if you've lived in the South, you probably have always called it a case knife. I don't know what the case stands for. I need to look that up. I know my dad used to have pocket knives that were case brand. Uh, maybe that's how they got. And he had Kiss and Crane and some other uh, knives. He used to collect pocket knives and sell pocket knives and trade pocket knives. I've only got one or two of his knives left because he was bad about trading. He would love a knife. And then he'd trade it off. And then he'd get another one. And then he'd, So I've got a couple of his that I... I keep hold of, but uh, that's a case knife. Now we're going to do soup. I'm going to carry that over. Yeah, I'm going to need to that. Come over here, Mama. You want to carry it over there? Yeah, come over here. For... Come over here and you talk to them, and I'll get you safe. Oh, I can't talk like you. My Mama, you can talk. I've heard you talk before. You talk to me all the time. Tell me stuff. I need to hear. Yeah. You need to get busy on this stuff. Uh, he's cut this up just for me, I believe. Even though it's on my plate, you can have it, Mama. Oh, boy, he's good. Mama, what's this tomato? You going to put it in here? Well, I didn't know if I'd have room or not. Watch him. He's done it right in, whether it's room. There's room, Mama. Look at this, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Now, what we would say right now is this sure is a kettle of soup. It sure is. One I'm going to bring us close over. One more thing and it rolls off of the... Something going on. It's going to that. Are y'all still with us? Okay. Here's those chunks of meat. Look at those carrots that Mama said I had too many. 
There's just the right amount of carrots in there, mama. There's those noodles that we fixed in six minutes in the microwave. Look at those potatoes. And it won't be too starchy. Now, I wouldn't care if it was a little bit thinner. Well, I was gonna get another can of juice, but they can't. Uh, won't hold it? It won't hold it. Eat some out, and then the next batch we'll have more. We'll, we'll put them. more juice. I don't care. I like it a little thinner to put my cornbread in. Here, I'm gonna show it to you in this bowl. Yeah, I definitely want some more juice, Mama. You, I know some of y'all are saying, John, you're gonna ruin that with juice. Look at that. Homemade soup. A ton Delicious. of Delicious. A ton of Homemade soup. Mama, we don't need but one plate uh, for cornbread because oh, no. I'm not gonna eat off a plate. I'm just gonna eat out of this bowl right here. And we'll just put this plate right there. Here, move your pet up and over a little. I can give you room to eat, Mama. And you can put you a muffin or two out here. And we'll just share this plate for a bread plate. Now there it is, folks. Homemade Mexican cornbread muffin with homemade soup and good old coffee. Straight out of the percolator. Mmm. That coffee's got a little cold, but it's still delicious. All right, Mama, let's bless our meal and we'll sample it and then let these people go. They put up with us all late. I know it. You're warm to the Well, we had cooking to do. I had to show them the snow this morning. Don't start. Okay. That's two whole spoonfuls, Mama. Yeah. She won't eat good, will she? Let's bless our meal. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful soup and this meal and these, this bread. Dear Lord, we thank you for these precious hands that prepared it. And Lord, we just pray that you'll be with each and every person during this time of this unpredictable weather, dear Lord. Keep them safe and watch over them. Dear Lord, we pray with everyone that's on here and everyone that has a prayer request, so spoken and unspoken. Be with each and every one of your will and your glory and your mercy, dear Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely going to have to have some more tomato juice. Yeah, because well, that's the whole point of not putting your potatoes in there. I don't like it too big. Uh, but it's still delicious. And it's look, just full of vegetables. It's full. It's stocked full. Look here. Mm -mm, look at that beautiful macaroni. Mama, did you put that in there for six minutes? No, I had to put it in there for nine, I think. Nine? Well, that's what I do with a whole big thing of spaghetti, but I thought no more than that was, it would go quicker. Mm -mm. So nine minutes on your pasta in the pasta maker. And it's done. Mmm. It's hot. That's delicious. Now that is delicious. That's veggies. Those potatoes are good. When you cook your potatoes in a separate pot, make sure you salt them. And so that while it's cooking, that potato will absorb that salt. Sticker no stick, I still eat my. Mm. Okay, let's see. You can eat it. I sometimes put cream style corn in your pancakes. Well, that would be good if it's homemade. See, when y'all get over there, there we're, we're, we're all together again. That looks delicious, making me hungry. Terry, fix you up some good old vegetable soup on this snowy day. You may not have snow. You may be in the warm sunshine today. This cornbread. This soup's too hot for me to eat. Mmm. I like it. This cornbread is so good. It really is. Not like biting into a piece of, of casserole. You have the corn flavor, you have the cheese. It's good. It's good, isn't it? Very good. I'm shocked the way I was putting it together, whether it be in or not. Mama, you never give yourself enough credit. You always do wonderful. I'm never shocked when it's, when it's tastes wonderful. 
Now, let me tell you another little thing about us in this suit. We both said when we started, we both knew it was a lie. Now, we're just going to make a little pot of, a little kibble soup. We ain't going to make no huge. I've got a bigger, taller kibble. I should have got it. You remember the time we was making soup? We changed the kibbles three different times. Because we was going to make a little bit. Mm-hmm. We kept adding this. And when we was doing the meat this morning, Mama said, Now, we ain't making no big old pot of soup. I said, okay, Mama. I said, we won't even get that big kettle out. We'll just use that medium one. Yeah, that'll be plenty. We don't even need to fill it full. No, we didn't. But all the potatoes you fixed and can of corn, frozen corn, all of it mounts up to a lot. I knew it would. I'm surprised we didn't have to change to a different kettle today. Well, it's delicious, y'all. If we it like we needed to, we would have. Mm-hmm. But that's got juice in it. Mm -hmm. I ain't complaining. I'm just saying we'll put some more in it and then we'll heat it. And we'll have it for tomorrow to be extra juicy. Let's scoot back a little bit so y'all can see us. You're still moving on there. Recipe on what page? Mm -hmm. The soup. I don't think this is in the book, is it? No, the cornbread wasn't in the current church cookbook. We had a... Oh. Mama's more. That's mine. Get your hands off her. Did you hear? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I said my biscuit. It's my cornbread biscuit. Yeah, uh, the recipe for these is not in our current church book, either. That's an old church book we had several years back. So these are probably not in the new church book because we don't usually duplicate recipes in them. I know. They're not. There's no Mexican cornbread in the new book. Hmm. But we shared the recipe with you so you can go back and watch the video and see the ingredients. And I think we've made it before and I think there, it may be out there from another video. We just start piling it in. Uh, when you've been doing videos for over two years like we have, you got stuff out there you just don't remember. Because we cook about every day. Um, and so I think we've had this before. You'd think we would remember, but I don't. Do you, Mama? Mm -hmm. It's almost carrot soup. Remember somebody thinks the whole bag of carrots. She ain't gonna let that go. I'm telling you, people. You all judge for yourself. Don't listen to her. Look at this soup. Do you think that's carrot soup? There are some carrots, but look at that noodles and all the other stuff. Look at this. Mama, you need your eyes. There ain't too many carrots in there. Your eyes need a little tune up anyway. Y'all yeah, probably gonna get to see mama wearing glasses. No, I'm gonna no. Yes. Yes, yes. We've got an appointment scheduled. And then I don't know what happened then. They went to SOS and it made a sound. It's sending SOS soon. I hope not. <sighs> I don't know. Francis Allen, I like cabbage in my vegetables. We do too, Francis. We just didn't put it in there today because we didn't have a good fresh head. Um, we don't often put in this soup cabbage, but we do a whole different soup that's a vegetable soup that has uh, some vegetables in it, corn, cabbage, and um, what am I trying to think of? Red beans, it has kidney beans, as cabbage and has hamburger meat. It's a cabbage beef soup. Ain't that right, Mom? Yeah. And we'll make it sometime too. I do like cabbage in this sometimes if we have it in the summertime if we make it. I'll let my beef stay in there a minute longer. It's all right. They're good. They ain't burnt. Show them. No, These ain't burnt. They're just good and brown. Browner than the other. But they're still. That ain't burnt, Mama. Mm mm mm. I'm busy eating them. Those are perfect, Mama. Folks, thank y'all for hanging in. I apologize for all the video trouble, and I have never 
had it go to SOS and carry on like this. I don't know what's going on. Thank you all for those stars. Thank you, Carol, for those stars right at the end. Um, I don't know what's going on with this video. And the comments ain't right. And I see no floating hearts over there. Or angry faces or anything. So, uh, maybe the next time we start up, it'll all work just right. And it'll be fine. Um, but thank you all for hanging on with us. And thank you all for being here with us. We probably won't be back on tonight because of the sketchy uh, internet, but we'll probably see y'all tomorrow. I hope to definitely see you all for um, Sunday School Highlights tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it'll all be working just fine by morning. If you do have to get out, if you're in this snowy area, please be careful. I know it's March, but it's just as serious as snow was. If it was December. So be careful, be safe, take care of yourself, check on your loved ones. You might have some out there that uh, 20, 24 degrees is 24 degrees in March, the same as it is in, in the middle of winter. So check out and make sure they're warm and they have some warm. Bring your animals in. Maggie wouldn't make it out there too long. She says, bring in your pets, people. We love y'all. Y'all have a great night. Find you something to do. Make you some memories. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you. Bye.